Bryant. There are too many purple shirts, and down he goes at the 37. Now, this first series for the uh, Rams on offense is very important because the Vikings just scored and tied the score. The Vikings have the momentum. The Rams have to take that football and move it down in the field position, get some points. I think it's a very vital series, Jim. It's a good point, Coach. And also, the Vikings know that they're just going to sample throw the ball, so they have their offensive philosophy set. Second and seven on the Ram 37-yard line. Jesse in a slot left. Second man, Colin Bryan, grabbed and got away. From Bryan was finally pulled down by Wally Hilgenberg. Fred McNeil, number 54, tried to get him from behind, but he couldn't do it. One of the things the Vikings are doing, again, they're in the 34 defense, and if your linebackers don't stay at home on that, they leave their area and run out of there on a cutback play, uh, you leave an opening, and that's what happened on that. Jim, yeah, one thing, the Rams are yeah. following your game plan, because you were saying as Dennis Hara comes off with a bad right hand, Hara's had a neck injury. He's actually had a stretched neck the muscle on the right side of his neck. They build a special collar because Harrod does his blocking with that right shoulder and neck, and they tried to keep it so that his head would be immobile, but he has hurt himself anyway. I was going to say that you mentioned they should give the ball to Bryant a lot, and he's now carried 13 times. Yes. Third and one on the 43. Whoops! Offside on the left side, and it was Charlie Young, the tight end. However, Jim Marshall, who's playing a great game at 41, well, brings Hayden down. Jim showed his quickness right there, and Pat fumbled the ball. He had two mistakes on it. The left end was offside, and a fumble on the exchange. When you talk about a veteran team, I mentioned that at the top of the show, uh, uh, Vinny. Red Cashin ready to make the call, Jim, and then we'll pick up. Illegal motion, number 86. Penalty is declined. Fourth down. Well, Jim Marshall represents that kind of a spirit because at 41 years old, he can always get himself up for a particular ball game. And Jim, that's one of the things I appreciate about the old pro is that they're ready to play every Sunday. <laughs> they, they really are. I agree with you, Coach, but I know you know more about that than us. That's, that was a big play for the Vikings right there. Glenn Walker punting from his own 25-yard line. Deep is Kevin Miller standing on his 25. A high punt. Miller has to retreat to his own 15. And he's going to go out of bounds. McLean and Phillips riding him out. And boy, there's a lot of enthusiasm on the sideline. 4.2 hang time on that. Ex excellent hang time. A reminder, the new look on the CBS Sports Spectacular will feature the East-West Shrine game, the fight between Duran and Brooks. We'll also have the Hollywood Stunt Classic, the competition, and the NFL Cheerleader Classic. It's all coming up Saturday, January 6th on the new look, the CBS Sports Spectacular. Well, let's see about the Vikings now. First and 10 on their own 16-yard line. Shifting with only Foreman behind Tarkenton. White is right, Rashad left, and Foreman grabbed by Cody Jones, who fought off Ron Yeri. He pushed Yeri aside as if he wasn't there. Well, he takes an inside charge and can't block him on that, block him right into the play. Well, Coach, I'd like to say this. They talk about Foreman not having a good year. This play is a perfect example of not having a good year. There's not a back that's ever lived that could do anything about that. <laughs> you, can't, I mean, you can't run without blocking. That's you what you're one saying. Step, <laughs> one step and you get it. Now the Rams are in the nickel again. Chuck Foreman, the only man to run the ball for Minnesota. As it's second and 12, and Tarkin up in the air again. And he finds Ricky Young. He's boxed in by Isaiah Robertson and Perry. And Isaiah Robertson knocked him down. And then Jim Youngblood came over. This time with the nickel, the... The Rams did that dog. They faked the dog. See Isaiah step up and fake the dog. Now, this is his coverage right here. He has number 34, Ricky Young, man for man, all over. Isaiah's got good position on him. Now he gets help. Because some people think that he gave him too much room, but actually that was a great position. Perfect position. Perfect. That's Third perfect. down and That's a perfect. long 10. Isaiah Robertson making a big play, and now Tarkenton needs one to keep it going. Rashad and White go to the right side. Tarkenton with Foreman out of the backfield is throwing for Foreman. Juggled and can't hold it as he is hit by Simpson. 
after Jim Youngblood was trying to go one-on-one -on -one with him. Wow. The free safety came over to help out. Well, the Rams dog now. Dog go for the nickel. Target and hits the right man, forming on a seam pattern. He's being covered by Youngblood, man for man. And I'd like, I'd like to make a point here. When you wonder fans about a free safety and what he does, this is an example of it. He helps out. Oh, he is. So it is fourth on 11. Greg Coleman, you see his numbers. He's had to kick three times. Deep is Jackie Wallace at the Ram 45. Ram can't get in. And Coleman boots it out of there. Wallace backing up to his own 35. To the 40. To the boot. Still going, and he's inside the 45 before Matt Blair, among others, well, finally brings him down. These two punts are an example of, of what field position can do for you. Rams have great field position now. Introducing a new American road car, the all-new Ford LTD for 79, with more front seat room, more rear seat room, more window area, and more handling ease than last year's LTD, plus the power of a V8 engine standard, a road car to take you across town or across the country. This land is your land, this land is my land. To test drive the all-new LTD on your own roads, see your Ford dealer today. Ring in the holidays, ring out the year. Sparkling with Andre, love and good cheer. Take Andre home for the holidays. Andre for the holidays. What's a celebration without Andre champagne to lend sparkle and elegance? And Andre cold duck to keep things bubbling along. Greet the season and your friends with the best. Andre. For the holidays and all year long. See the Grand Prix Masters for Madison Square Garden in New York with many of the top touring pros competing. That's the Grand Prix Masters, January 13th and 14th. A 49-yard punt, a 21-yard return. The Rams set up shop first and 10 on the Viking 44. Waddy is left. Dwight scales in the game is right. Play action taken and end around to Waddy. And Waddy is to the 40 and dragged down at the 35-yard line. He is one yard shy of a first down. That fool the Vikings. It was a good call right in there. The Rams have excellent field position. They have to take it in and score here. Turn the game around. Coach, if we watch the blocking out here, the linemen aren't really moving out and throwing. If, Waddy, if they had thrown, Waddy could have used a quick cut and accelerated, but by them not moving fast, he couldn't do that. Second and one as the Rams come up at that end around and spot the ball just shy at the 35. Second man, Colin Bryant, and he has the first down as he goes across the 30-yard line to the 29. Among others, Bobby Bryant trying to bring him down, but Bryant's only 170, and Bryant is 235. Maybe 240. Yeah, well, this is just power football, straight ahead. One other point. The Rams have scored more fourth quarter points than any other team in the conference. Only Buffalo led the league with nine points more in the fourth, so they wear you down. First and ten on the Viking 30-yard line. Here comes Colin Bryant carrying people just about to the 25. Well, the Vikings on that last play were in a what we call a 53 defense. Linebackers are inside, man over the center, and the Rams run that fast trap again. So they just end block it, man for man blocking. They don't pull anyone. So it's second and five on the Viking 25. Uh, Hara is back in. Remember, he left with a bad neck, but he's back in there again. A good pulling guard to compliment Tom Mack. Hayden looking to the right side, throwing to Jesse. He's got it for a first down and fights for an extra yard. John Turner is the man that you said, George, they figured to exploit that's, in the second half. That's, that's the first time they've thrown over there, and he's playing loose, playing deep. He picked up a... Linebackers are blitzing on that, Coach. First down. Hayden was very good on that because yeah. he got the ball away quickly because on the blitz, you have to release the ball quick. Well, the Rams 
pushing the Vikings around, and you can see the mood reflected on the Viking faces as the Rams have it first and 10 on the Minnesota 18. They started on the Viking 44. Slot left, Jesse is inside Miller. Play action face to Bryant. Pressure by Mullaney. Complete to the tight end, Terry Nelson. And Bryant has to knock him down at the five-yard line. The big tight end, Terry Nelson, making the reception. Now, real good call. Play action, pass. Good fake. And Terry Nelson comes across underneath shallow. And <laughs> Bake takes the spot where 54 dogs see. Now watch the one-on-one -on -one right there, Coach. Terry Nelson went to the physical. Yeah. Maybe he should have tried a little yes. finesse at that point. Nelson is 230, Bryant 170. Bryant, Bryant, Bryant went under him, though, Vinny. He went under him. First and goal at the five. Hayden to Bryant, and they stack him up at the three-yard line. Turner on top. Seaman and Sutherland at the bottom. That's the reason that play was also so good, Vinny, is that McNeil, 54 dog, and Nelson occupied the area where he would normally be, you see. So it is second and goal. And now the Vikings sending in some fresh blood as the Rams go to three tight ends. Hilgenberg now comes in. And here come the Rams. Second and goal. They put Phillips as a tight end on the left side. Cullen Bryant on a play action fake and the pass broken up by Mark Mullaney. Big 77, and we mentioned oh, yeah. him earlier. He, he is played. six feet six. And this time he got a meat hook on the leather and yeah. knocked it down. That's that's good in here. He watch him get his hands up. Now, left you, hand. You yeah. mentioned that casually, but uh, coach, you really teach that. Oh yeah, we work in that gym. X it's uh it's spe especially if you're against a quarterback that is not exceptionally tall. It's very good. was wide open, that, that so been he a, stopped the touchdown. Then a touchdown if he catches the ball. Marlene saved a touchdown. So the details of coaching means an awful lot. On the sideline, Ricky Young and Ray Malavese, the opposite side of the coin in a 10-10 tie, 727 in the third. Across our land, Gunk. people Gunk. know our brand. Come on, you guys. can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Spark plugs by AC. See that, men? You can trust AC spark plugs. And remember AC filters to help protect your engine from dirt and dust. Right, men? Men? Hit! Drive through dirt and dust. Good filters are a must. You can trust AC. Thanks, AC. Filters by AC. Plugs and filters by AC. Introducing Hertz Takeoff Rates. Save up to 35% on the average weekday rental when you take off Thursday through Sunday for a minimum of two to three days. Take off in a subcompact for only $13.95 a day. Fairmont, $15.95. Granada, $17.95. Thunderbirds, $21.95 a day. All with no charge for mileage. There are some restrictions, so check with Hertz. Takeoff next weekend with Hertz Low Takeoff Rates. Third and goal for the Rams on the Viking three. 7.27 left in the third quarter, and they're all tied up 10-10. The Rams break. Nelson a tight end on the right side. Charlie Young and Ross Phillips on the left. And it's Bryant and Capaletti back at Hayden. Hayden to Bryant with Capaletti and Halla out in front of He cuts in for six. That's to be six. For Cullen Bryant. To bust it over from the three, his eighth touchdown of the year. Well, he had good blocking. Uh, nobody penetrated. Nobody gets across. Watch, coach. Everything is sealed off. It's just a matter of running it over. When that started, we no. knew it had to be six. Perfect execution. I guess when they call that timeout preceding this play, they wanted to make sure that this play would really work. Good point, because they do have a short list of plays that they use when they're in that area. That's a good call against that particular defense. Well, Frank Corral was 31 out of 33 during the regular season. He has a point and a field goal today, and now he gets another point. So with seven minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the third quarter, we still have a ball game, but the Rams doing what they figured to do, leading 17 to 10. <laughs> 